Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. The Irish Times is reporting that telecoms giant Digicel paid 90 million US dollars in fees and bonuses to its founder, Dennis O'Brien, along with companies he controlled over the past three years. This news comes as Digicel embarks on a major debt restructuring. The reporting comes from documents related to the massive debt restructuring currently underway at the company. The news agency says the payments included 5.4 million US dollars given to Mr. O'Brien under a long-term incentive plan and a bonus linked to Digicel's sale of its Pacific operation last year. 26.2 million US dollars was paid over the 36-month period for the use of a jet owned by a company controlled by O'Brien. The network of markets in which Digicel operates has fallen from 33 to 25 since the Pacific deal. It is now focused on the Caribbean and Central America. Mr. O'Brien's island capital advisory firm, which has helped Digicel with financing and deals, received 11.9 million US dollars in fees over the three financial years to the end of March. Actavo, an engineering services company controlled by Mr. O'Brien, has been paid 43.8 million US dollars over the past three years mainly for the installation and maintenance of fiber optic networks in digital markets. The Irish Times says the documents outline that Actavo, quote, secures the business from Digicel through a competitive tender process involving other vendors, unquote. Mr. O'Brien also received salary and other short-term benefit. These details come as Digicel's current debt restructuring takes place. It will see 1.7 billion US dollars of debt written off and a group of bondholders take control of Digicel. It's Digicel's third attempt to overhaul its borrowings in the past five years. It's on track to reduce company debt to 3.12 billion US dollars compared to a peak of over 7 billion US dollars in early 2019. It will also see the shareholding of Mr. O'Brien reduced to about 20%. To some stock market related news now, the initial public offer IPO for digital marketing agency One Great Studio Company has closed. Marita Investment says the offer was oversubscribed with more than 4,000 investors. The IPO opened on Monday. It set out to raise $338.6 million and list on the junior market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Now, shares were being sold at a dollar each. And the offer was set to run until September 18. One great studio company says the funds raised will be used to cut debt, help support growth and enable it to pursue strategic investment opportunities. And of course, the basis of allotment will be published soon. Banks and Cambios are selling the U.S. dollar for an average $155.77. $114.58 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $196.07, while it's costing $170.73 for the euro. And the JSE index gained 882 points today, while the junior market index lost 35 Points. Among the 50 winners were JMB Group 7.25% shares, ISP Finance Services, Margaritaville Turks, JMB Group 7.25% Variable Jamaican Dollar Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, and Key Insurance. The 40 losers were led by Caribbean Cream, Express Catering, Elite Diagnostic, Diamond Trading, and QWI Investments. 15 stocks closed today's session at the same price they started trading. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.